Thank you so much, and hello to everyone, Your Royal Highness. It's an honor to have been invited to present an award by the Prince's Trust International, and a particular pleasure to be able to champion young women making a difference in their communities. This year's awardee was born unable to use her legs, so she used her hands, and by the age of 16, she had published her first book. She has limited mobility, but she has crisscrossed the globe advocating for the rights of girls and the disabled, including the right to education. In her home country of Pakistan, less than 13% of girls graduate from high school, and even fewer girls with disabilities ever do. In her region, being female can itself be considered a disability. Just ask girls today in Afghanistan. But our awardee took every stereotype and debunked it. Each barrier she faced and broke it. She refuses to accept the status quo and fights to change it, not just for herself, but for all girls and all those with disabilities. Her advocacy brings light to the darkest places and I hope that after receiving this award, she will be able to shine even more brightly. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to introduce the first ever winner of the Women's Empowerment Award, Miss Tanzila Khan. Um, Tanzila, on top of all of your achievements, congratulations on this, by the way, uh, you're also an amazing businesswoman. Tell us a bit about that. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Now, when you live with a disability in this world, barriers are not unknown to you, from finding a space in the world to looking for accessible bathrooms. It's all part of the package. Sadly, I live in a world where menstrual health care is also seen as a barrier. And today, standing here, I feel that I have the support to say that something that should have been celebrated is unfortunately seen as a stigma today. The reason why we all are here in this world today is menstruation. We all are here in this hall today enjoying this amazing afternoon is menstruation. So why is that a stigma? Mm. And holding this award... <laughs> Oh, true. But, but you see, bringing down barriers is also not unknown to me. And holding this award today, knowing that I have the support of Princess Trust, and my inspiration, Amal Clooney, Charlotte Tilbury, I know everyone over here is with us. And today, with all of you and everyone who's watching us from their homes, we will bring down this barrier together. Ain't no mountain high. Wow. Amazing. And Tanzila, if you would, would you tell us about also your business, Girly Things? Tell us. Yes. Girly Things is an initiative that was born out of my own experience. Even as a woman with disability, I thought I had it all. I was running around from meeting to meeting. I run many businesses, and we create value through inclusion. And then one day, I started my menstrual cycle on the road. And that's when I realized something so basic to me is inaccessible, and that is access to a sanitary napkin. And that's what made me think that 500 million girls across the world are facing similar barriers. They do not have access to opportunities, and that is extremely unfair. 47% mm. of girls in Pakistan do not know about periods before they start. And that is, again, something out of ignorance. This shouldn't be happening with so many intelligent people in the world. So. 
one of them. Girly Things started with me and my team by putting together a service that gives them access to products and services about menstrual health care without stigma, but with lots of empathy. And we have a network across Pakistan that's delivering regular and urgent menstrual care, so we make sure nobody gets to miss their opportunity ever again. And what's been the impact of your business on your community in Pakistan? We're ensuring that menstruators across Pakistan and now even outside Pakistan, they do not see menstruation as a barrier and they have access to products in situations where it's impossible. Sadly, the conversation around menstruation was also a stigma, but through our work, campaigning, a lot of workshops, we're trying to bring down that, that stigma and partnering with many corporate uh, world uh, actors and then lots of media groups and lots of institutions to just end the stigma and make it part of our lifestyle conversation rather than um, something to be ashamed of. Mm. Tanzila, you, you're quite amazing. Really? You're, yeah, you are. You sure? Even by the way you taste, isn't she? Um, Amal, can I ask you, she's, she's amazing, she's, she's really inspiring, isn't she? I think she's formidable. She's a tremendous advocate. She's been able to do so much good already. Um, and I know she's going to go on to change so many lives. I think you're incredibly inspiring and we're all so, so proud of what you've been able to do. So Absolutely. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we're in this together. We're in this together. Absolutely. Uh, Thank you so much, Amar, for being here tonight. Thank, Thank you, you, and congratulations again. Tanzila Khan, everybody. Give her a big hand. Amar, would you take the... Would you take the... Thank you. Thanks, Tanzila.